Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for the collective. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Oh my goodness, I am getting ready for the holidays. I'm shooting this on um, the 22nd, so it's been crazy and exciting. It's a nice little distraction from how crazy the year has been. Um, all right, my loves, so if you would like a personal reading, um, the information is below. Just shoot me an email at cancerbabyinfo at gmail. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. Um, I choose multiple winners every month for uh, free tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry, runes, crystals, books, Bibles, um, it is a lot of fun. Okay, so be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell, okay? All right, let's get shuffled up here, guys. <sighs> Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for the collective, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for the collective, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for the Collective, please. All right, so we have here the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. We have the, um, the Strength card, Leo Energy. Hold on, let me just make sure. This is the first time using this deck so just give me a moment here no this is not the strength card it says establish strength on the bottom um but this is the three of wands we have the magician virgo gemini energy this is a beautiful deck queen of swords aquarius gemini libra so we have a true pair on the board the wheel of fortune this is the uh, Heaven and Earth, I think it is, deck. And we have the Ten of Cups. On the bottom there, it says Perfect Success. Wow. Interesting. Uh, for whoever I'm reading for, someone here may be doing magic, guys. I feel like we have a connection here that has went cold, but it is a true pair. It is a soulmate connection, especially with the Wheel of Fortune there and the Ten of Cups, divinely guided soulmate. Um, something happened here. Something happened because this Queen of Swords is has her back turned to this King of Swords. And this King of Swords is yearning for this Queen of Swords, okay? I'm literally seeing here that this King of Swords does have other options because you see with these three wands here, one, two, three, the person is holding on to the two wands. So they're hold this this King of Swords is holding on to the connection, even though if there's other people waiting in line there. Do you see what I'm saying? And I feel like someone's manifesting, praying, or possibly even working magic but this queen of swords has her back turned okay this queen of swords has her back turned but i feel that with the wheel of fortune and the ten of cups i mean that's abundance i mean that's beauty there let's, let's see what we have going on here we have the ace of cups that is beautiful i think this is quickly becoming my favorite deck wow this is beautiful queen of pentacles Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. The seven of pentacles and under the deck, it says success unfulfilled. Under the deck, I mean, on the bottom of the card. Here we have the two of pentacles. Harmonious change on the bottom. We have the Three of Cups. It says abundance on the bottom. And we have the world. So guys, what I'm seeing here is I feel like you have someone here, guys, that wants to come in and commit and offer their full heart, but not after it's, it's like they're choosing you over someone else. And that's that's fine and dandy. But there's kind of this energy of like, 
don't do me any favors, choose her or choose him. So someone here made a huge mistake in the past. They were juggling. Someone here had a third party. And I feel that, you know, they're choosing you over the third party, which is fantastic. It really is. But you're just more or less in this energy of I don't really care about winning because I already know I'm the shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I really, I already know that I'm better than whoever you're with. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, you're not doing me any favors by choosing me. You know what I'm saying? And this person is coming in with like these amazing intentions of overflowing love and wanting to commit and everything, but you were also being juggled. You know, you were also being treated as an option. We have the eight of pentacles and prudence, it says on the deck there. I love this deck. We have the devil, Capricorn energy. The Ten of Swords. On the bottom it says Ruin. The Strength card, Leo Energy. The Seven of Swords. Unstable Effect, it says on the bottom. And we have the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Under the deck, the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. So, yeah, guys, what I'm seeing here is someone is really, 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 all of a sudden, all of a sudden, this person has become the perfect partner. Okay, they've become the perfect partner. Um the problem is, is that you just, you're, you're not really wanting to give to the connect. Like, it's like you guys had something beautiful and this person just ruined it. Like it's, you know, when it's just some things you can't put back together, you know what I'm saying? You break a vase, you break whatever, like some things you can't put back together. Um, with the seven of swords and the page of swords, there's this energy of, I know the truth now. And I see you for that truth. I see you for the liar that you are. I see you for the thief that you are. I see you for what you really are. And that can't be fixed. But let's remember guys, that sometimes when a vase shatters and we put it back together, it's that imperfection or that flaw that makes it all the more beautiful. Those cracks, those, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, let's see what we have going on here. I mean, it just seems like I know the way this is getting started seems unfair, but it does seem like this person is obsessed and passionate about really wanting to work on this and have something real here. Tell me about this King of Swords. We have the Page of Swords. A truth came out here. Three of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Someone here... Um, Someone here was in a relationship looking for one night stands or casual sex, or it could be that, you know, this King of Swords energy here is um, wanting to speak to you if you're not talking to this person. The Magician and the Wheel of Fortune. Someone here is manifesting the Queen of Swords and the Emperor, Aries, Taurus energy. Someone here doesn't want to let you go. You have to understand the energy of the Emperor. The Emperor conquers. The Emperor doesn't lose period. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, now, it could also be that this Queen of Swords energy is standing her ground, okay? Uh, and again, guys, we don't read gender. We read energy. Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Cups. The Ten of Cups and the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Someone here is manifesting commitment, marriage, love, abundance, affection. Someone here is manifesting this. They want you back and they want it all. They want you back and they want it all. Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups. Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, this person is coming in offering their full heart. They're offering commitment. You don't trust it, though. You do not trust this, though. Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Two of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Oh, man, this person has a lot of regret, guys. A lot of regret. This person made, uh, in the past, they made a lot of very stupid, very impulsive decisions. And they're having a lot of regret for that indecision, for, for that, uh, you know, risky behavior, for not being certain about you and knowing that you were the one. Um, let's keep in mind, though, that with the Seven of Pentacles, this is looking at the past, realizing the mistakes that you've made, and focusing on how not to make them again, okay? Uh, three of Cups, 
and the two of cups. So we were at a three and we're taking it down to a two. You know what I'm saying? The world and the strength card, Leo energy. Someone here is pulling back from a third party. Someone is, is pulling back from a third party. The eight of pentacles and the uh, ace of pentacles, the devil and the fool. Aries energy. Someone here is really, really working on starting a new beginning with you here, guys, and they are desperate, desperate to get you to trust them again. Sometimes with that fool card, it kind of reminds me of that energy of please trust me again, believe in me again, you know what I'm saying? Please take that leap of faith and do this with me again. Give me one more chance, you know what I'm saying? Um, we've got the Ten of Swords here. Spirit, tell me about this Ten of Swords. The Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries Energy, the Strength card, and the Six of Swords. I feel like this person, you know, you may feel like this person's behavior ruined everything. What I'm seeing, though, is that this person is done with that lifestyle. They're done with being a player. They're done with being noncommittal. They're pulling away from that lifestyle, okay? And they're wanting to move this towards more peaceful waters. Seven of Swords and the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. Um, I feel like this person knows that they're about to lose you guys. I feel like this person is going to withhold from any type of lying, cheating. You know, this person is not going to go down that road because they're realizing here that you're serious you're really done it's either they come in and offer you love if they're going to reconcile with you they need to come in offering you real love real emotion and a real relationship with that two of cups or they or go, they're going to lose you period and they know this but i i feel like you're in an energy of you're standing your ground we have commitment and healing light this person really is coming in to commit, guys. Okay, they want to heal and they want to commit. Kindred partnership and great gratitude. This person wants to take the connection to higher levels. They feel that soulmate connection and they are appreciative of you. They're going to come in and they're going to start showing you the love and affection that you deserve. The problem here is, is you know, there was too many people in this picture. Okay, you were craving stability, you were craving stability, and there was just too many people in this picture. But I feel now that they're coming in, we've got Archangel Michael looking over this, they're coming in with a more stable attitude, and they want to move forward with you guys. They want to move forward with you. We've got flirt. And we've got passion. So you still see this person as a flirt. You're still seeing this person as someone who is just very sexual, needs a lot of attention. You're still seeing this person for who they were, not who they are right now. Okay. And it's hard once we gain that vision of somebody to see, you know, them change or to see them as something different. Do you understand? So let's, you know, take it into the extended and let's see what this King of Swords true feelings and intentions are. If the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords should reconcile um is there going to be any more cheating or deception or is this person serious about the change okay or is this something that they're just saying in the moment to get you back okay and then we'll see what the final um you know what the outcome here is of this and we'll pull some oracle for clarification okay i love you guys bye